Greetings from the land of Canada, my name is Matt, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a game that I recently found. Uh, it's been critically acclaimed for being one of the best platformers in a while. And uh, they even did a documentary on it, so if you guys know this game, give a holla! Give a holla for Braid. This game is amazing. I've actually played it all the way through once, and uh, I noticed that they actually provide you with a speedrunning option where you can just speedrun the entire game if you want, and there's an achievement if you get it in under 45 minutes. And I don't think I'm going to beat the whole game in under 45 minutes, because I don't think that I've, like, practiced enough nearly. There's so many great things about this game. First off, the whole look of it is amazing. The the graphics, they're really, like, eye-catching and everything. It's great. Uh, the music is actually really nice and relaxing. And what's cool about this game, the biggest part about it, is that your, um, your main ability is that you can rewind time by holding shift. So you can just be like running, running, oh, I didn't want to do that, and then just run back. And it's so cool, it is so awesome. And uh, now we're moving on to the Cloud Bridge. This I, this was actually one of the most confusing levels I had ever played in my life. Yes, I had to look up a video to do it, because right here, you're supposed to be able to get that puzzle piece and that puzzle piece, but the way you're supposed to do it is you see this puzzle, this is how you complete, this is how you get to uh, like 100% the game. Oh, no, see, okay, so we got two that work together. But basically, that painting, part of it is a platform, and you can actually stand on that platform physically in the game, and this is the only time in the entire game that this is a mechanic. And it blew my mind when I found that out. It made no sense. It's, it's hunt, you have to hunt all six of them. Oh, okay, I missed it. Whoa! Got it. All right, sick. So, see, that's the thing. It gives you room for error. It's like it's like the Prince of Persia Sands of Time. And what you see is I did is I left that guy there at the beginning, uh, right down here, so I could bounce off and get up uh, get up to the top part. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. So the leap of faith. Ooh, I actually forgot about that. I think. Okay, so now what you gotta do is switch it over like this. I think. And whoa, okay, right, right. we actually need to go back a little bit and. We want to guide our little Google friend over, over there uh, by flipping the switch. Yeah, messed up. So I'm gonna hop it right about here by tapping it. Now, for some reason, I have a I have a sinking feeling that the audio is gonna be a little bit loud on the game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that down right after I demonstrate that. Bam! Grab it. Okay, one sec. I'm just gonna turn it down just a tiny, tiny bit. And I still think that it's pretty loud. I think it's bleeding in through my speakers, which sucks. But uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll wear I'll wear headf headphones next time. But basically, this part's really cool. You gotta time it perfectly with this. Oh, I missed it. So then you time it like like that. Perfect to get the uh, the puzzle piece up here. Then there's another puzzle piece right down here. And I'm gonna actually wait. Oh, jeez. Now I'm gonna get I'm gonna get greedy here. I'm gonna get real greedy. Oh oh no! Come on! Nailed it, and there's a piranha plant right here that I just ran past. This game's inspired by, like, Super Mario. Like, come on, look at this. Like, this is, this is, they're cementing it that they're like, Super Mario is, like, the basis of this game. I'm sorry, but the princess is another castle. Thank you. Thank you, dinosaur. And this is actually where things start to get interesting. Because you see that little Goomba guy went ahead and picked up the key. So now what I could do is I could bounce on his head and grab the key. But the problem now is how do I get back up? You rewind time, just instinctively. And notice how I'm still holding the key, right? Basically, there's something that you don't notice here, which is that this key is actually different from other ones. It's glowing. You can kind of see particles coming off it. Same with this one. So check it. If I rewind it, it doesn't rewind with me. So it's unaffected by anything related to whatever time manipulation you got. And you grab it, and then you just rewind it all the way back to the bottom. And you can actually control the speed that you rewind. Like, you can rewind like this, and if you press down, you can rewind even faster. Um, now this, this part's actually kind of funny. You actually gotta rewind it all the way, because that platform does not rewind. And you gotta get this guy all the way over here to grab the key. That's what you're gonna do. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Flip the lever back, and go ahead and grab the next puzzle piece, because once you uh, the puzzle pieces are actually how you... Uh, get to the final boss. What you do is you run over here, just like stand there, and then you run all the way back, go down the ladder, flick it again, and then you do this. And then, yeah. And then what you can do is you can rewind again because that uh, that puzzle piece had the glowing stuff on it, so that means that you could actually just 
rewind it. Okay, alright, alright, alright. And if you die, the game doesn't end. You can just rewind it, which is really cool. I'm gonna see if I can do like a trick jump down here. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, this is cool. You see how the Goomba at the top is, uh, is glowing? And it just dies immediately as soon as it hits one of the bullets? So basically what happens is I can guide him like this. To go all the way to the end. But the thing is, there's a trick. You actually need to go all the way over here and don't get freaking killed by the bunnies! God. What you have to do is you have to stand over here. Then run all the way back and sort of save this guy. And you can just let the shift button play the game for you. Just the rewind, just rewind. And then make it all the way here. Bounce off his head, grab the puzzle piece. Good to go. Now this part's interesting. Notice how this key is not glowing. Oh, I come on, I totally made that. Okay, you can you can totally get past this without Oh, okay, whatever, I'll just wait. I'll just I'll just wait. You can, and that door is glowing, which means that I'm just not affected. So, I can just open it, rewind it, get my key back, then open the next part. How cool is that? Now, I want to do, well, what I want to do here is actually ignore that key. Oh, okay, come on, buddy. Ignore that key, go down here, grab this one, and then just rewind it all the way back here. Use it on this door, because I can't get that key back, right? But that door will come back if I rewind it. So, I'm going to grab this key go back over here, get the door that I can rewind it, and then the third one. And there you go. You got the next puzzle piece. Really, really weird. Gotta pop that guy. Oh my god! I always forget about that guy. Always forget about him. Come on! Okay, whatever. I'm just, I'm just gonna... No! Dude, they slaughter you! They just murk you! Oh my god! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. We're in the lair. This is the boss battle. Drop it, and then it goes all the way right. Drop the next one on him, and then you can go all the way left again. Drop this on him, and then for the final blow, and he's done. And also I die. To the freaking Numa! Come on! Alright, we got it. We got it, don't worry about it. Alright, sweet. Oh, this one's crazy. Alright, so I actually forget how to get that puzzle piece up there. Um, oh, no, actually I just remembered. Basically, what you gotta do is get all the way over there first. And after I quickly rewind it as fast as possible, like this, I can actually just jump on it and get the puzzle piece. How cool is that? That puzzle piece right there is completely locked behind and it seems like it was a timing based puzzle, right? Oh, I do it fast enough. Oh, that sucks. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna continue with the puzzle anyways. I'm gonna con- And, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just sort of not- tr Try not to get murked by all the hazards. And I switch it here, and then I can- s I can rewind it because I notice that, hey, they're all- they're all glowing, right? So now if I stand on this platform, and I rewind time, since I'm standing on the platform that's glowing, I don't ever- my dude never gets affected by the time rewinding. So I can rewind it as far back as I want, up until the point where you see the thing on the left, how it reaches all the way up to the top. I can just go- I can just go get it now. You can get there, grab the puzzle piece, and I got plenty of time. Plenty of time to spare. And I just ran right into a bullet, but still. You see? You see the platform that's like in the- in-, in like right there? That's the platform you stand on! What?! How is that intuitive? Y that's impossibly like oh god. All right, and what's cool is I can still manipulate it. I can still take it, and I'm gonna put it in the top right here. I'm actually going to move it down a bit. And now you see that guy there. And now we're gonna move it like down here or something. Cool. So we got him stuck there perfectly. I didn't. I didn't go far enough. Whoa! Nailed it. Now all you gotta do is return through this door you actually need to re make him respawn do want to just like you can, you can fall like that's fine like don't worry about it because you want to get to that guy up there right so just boing got it gg and what's cool about this one is you can actually just go ahead and complete the puzzle right so if i do this completed world two pretty sweet huh it's pretty awesome i like this game so now let's move on to Bigger and better things, which uh, includes world number four and five. But I think I'm going to do that in the next episode. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like because that would be amazing. And uh, basically, thanks all for watching, everybody. Peace.